Hey everyone, this is Raven Mini Voices, and today I'd like to talk about greetings from the fairy nation. That's right, we're talking about nature spirits and fairies today. This unseen workforce is amazing. They're all around us growing and helping assist nature and the growth of those plants, caretaking of the stones, and tree nation around us. This unseen workforce is busy and they don't get a lot of credit for all the wonderful work that they do. When we reach out in spirit or as your gifts are really opening up, these are one of the first spirits to really greet you and want to talk to you. It's kind of like being in a party and no one can see you and all of a sudden you see someone across the room look right at you. You get really excited and run over to talk to them. This is a lot of the fairy spirits as we begin to notice more as we open up our hearts, these spirits come running up to us to greet us and to share that wisdom with us. These wonderful nature spirits, and again, fairies, nature spirits, lots of different names for these different beings, gnomes, um, all kinds of mythical creatures, they all are grouped in, under the name fairy or fae kingdom. They have different ways they like to communicate to us, including sweet smells. So when you're walking outside, even in winter, you might smell the scent of sweet flowers like lilacs, roses, or other sweet smells like cotton candy, or maybe your favorite food, maybe cookies. You can hear bells or chimes, the laughter of children, or even a song that can pop in your head, uh, like a childhood song. One of their favorites for me is Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> they have a lot of humor in how they like to contact us. The other favorite thing they like to do is to come and pull our hair so it can feel like someone is pulling a little string of your hair as they get into your hair or try to pull or get your attention tap on the shoulder, a tickle the back of the neck, a tickle of your nose. And then of course they like to sometimes take the form of other beings like bugs and birds so they can get really close and take a look at us and our heart to see if we're authentic in our connection and wanting to communicate with them. Fairies again are part of that natural world so they can come in nature and the different elements too, fire, water, air, and earth and their many forms. Once you connect with the fairies, they love giving gifts. Keep an eye out. You might find money, broken jewelry, or stones or gifts that they leave for you. Anytime you enter into a forest, if you go for a hike, or even a local park, be sure to bring a little bit of tobacco. I did another video on tobacco if you want to learn more about this, but the tobacco is a blessing and an offering to them. They love it. It is food. If you put a little blessing of tobacco out, asking them to come and communicate with you, you will get those fairy greetings, maybe even feel like cobwebs going across your face. And sometimes that's their wings as they hit you. So know that they're reaching out to talk to you, that tobacco, that gift, oftentimes will have them come near. They'll know the sincerity of your heart because tobacco always comes from the heart. And then also they might leave you a gift. So they'll keep an eye out for a feather, a stone, or like I said, broken jewelry. They like to do that one quite often with me or little kids toys that I find. Again, fairies can be found anywhere because they take care of all environments. So even within the city or even your apartment, if you have a uh, open balcony where you go flowers or even inside your houseplants, you can invite fairies to help grow your houseplants and make that connection. You can even try bringing a bouquet of flowers inside and asking those fairies to bless those flowers and then soften your eyes as you watch these flowers. They will sometimes start to move, sway, or you'll see sparkling lights around the flowers. These are the fairies trying to get your attention and make a connection. Once you've seen the little flashes of light, close your eyes and hold the image in your mind's eye. They have an ability called glamour so that they can blend in or take a disguise of whatever feels the calmest to you. Oftentimes, because they like to look in our mind, if we feel more comfortable with angels, they can disguise themselves as angels as they come to us. Short, three-foot angels <laughs> and a little dress is oftentimes a fairy in disguise. So have fun connecting with them. Get your tobacco or just wander out in your backyard and see if those fairies want to come and play. Open up to their greetings their different ways that they communicate and with a clear heart, thank them for all their amazing work and invite them in to start sharing their wisdom. 
their ability to live here in the natural world can really help you live here easier with ease and grace help your body with healing a bee just flew over so that was a flyby of a fairy <laughs> and also just how to connect more with this wonderful world so invite that natural world the fairies into your heart today and have fun lots of humor is going to come forward a little bit of mischief but amazing wisdom comes from this wonderful kingdom of beings that love us very much blessings on your journey with spirit and if you have more questions wander over to ravenmedium.com my website and reach out if you need help i can definitely help assist you connect with your guides and the fairy kingdom many blessings to you and your journey with spirit namaste